everyone, welcome back to another Reborn Review. Today we're checking out their new Triceratops Horridus Trident. That's right everyone, your eyes aren't playing tricks on you. After 7 years, Reborn has finally delivered King Trident. For a very long time, our Fallen Queen and King Rex Iaramas have sat unfinished. And after this very, very long wait, we finally have the missing piece. There are two versions of Trident. I have the Horner Doom version and the other one is the King version. Both are pretty similar. Uh, there's a couple other differences I'll get to a little bit later on in the review. But the main difference is, is the color scheme. That's because years ago, Reborn released two versions of their Fallen Queen version 1 and version 2. So those color schemes are meant to match up with the female. Now this figure retails for $60 and it's going to be available from Big Bad Toy Store and Everton Dinosaur. I'll leave the pre-order links down below in the description. So let's just go with the package really quick before we... Take this figure out. Comes in this beautiful rebar box with the classic silhouette of the skeleton. Um, there's going to be two boxes for this because I got the Horn of Doom. You can see it has the broken horn on the silhouette. On the top of the box, we get a picture of all the figures available in their catalog. Pretty cool to see that has grown a lot over the years. Not much on the other side. And then inside, you do get an informational postcard and mine has definitely seen better days it is all messed up uh, even you can see the back of it. it looks like it's been chewed that's because in the box the figure is extremely well packed probably one of the best packed uh rebar figures i've seen but just the top of the frill must have been pressing up against it and just like some pressure on the box just chew this all up not really a big deal because I really don't care about the cards. It's just going to go back in the box. But that's the only thing that arrived damaged on here. So enough about the package. And let's throw this thing up on the turntable and dive into this review. And here is the Horner Doom in all its alpha male glory. This is a really big beefy figure from Rebor. The box was a lot bigger than what we're used to. That's because this figure did not come with a detachable tail. There's really no point. It's very short tail on this Triceratops. And, uh, you know, after waiting seven years, was this figure worth the wait? Yeah, it's a really cool Triceratops. Now, it's not scientifically accurate. You know, Rebor put out that absolute stellar uh, T-Rex with uh, Kiss. Uh, but this Triceratops is more than bread and butter. It's that big, stylized, awesome bro dinosaur. And you know what? I like it. It's a really cool figure. I, I don't mind the couple artistic liberties that they took with it but for the if you overlook the couple issues with this figure which i'll get to a little bit later on the review it's a really good triceratops figure now i opted for the horn of doom version because i really like that broken horn and the, the scar with the blinded eye it just gives this triceratops a lot more character than the all the other versions of triceratops that i have in my collection um the king version did look nice with the more vibrant colors but this one really really stuck out with me and i really only need one to complete my diorama even though i do have king rex and kiss i could have used the second one but who knows maybe down the road i will get the other version but yeah really really digging this thing and now for some measurements this figure if you measure along the curve of the body is about 11 inches long or just under 30 centimeters and about five and a half inches tall to the top of the frill just under 14 centimeters so triceratops in real life was 26 to 30 feet long or 8 to 9 meters that put this figure in the 128 to the 133 scale range so it is a big triceratops now let's zoom and take a look at some of the finer details on horn of doom starting with the head from the side that's a nice profile of a triceratops skull. i love the shape of it love how long the horns are you know when we see a triceratops skull in the museum, the horns always look a lot shorter. That's because those are the horn cores, and to be covered in this keratin sheath, would make, which would make them a lot longer in real life. And the horns are made up of slightly flexible material, so you don't have to worry about them breaking. And then turn it around to the side. Let's take a look at the broken horn, and that's the big reason why I got this figure. I just love the horn. This is like in a grizzled, old school alpha male that has been through hell and back, and is not to be messed with. And I just absolutely love all the character that is sculpted into this figure look at the eye i love the scar of when a predator attacked it it is blinded you have a little bit of red uh in the eye socket a lot of nice scale detail all over the face reborn is really great at painting their figures their paint apps are uh, pretty much second to none the nose horn is nicely sculpted beak is done nice brown nice texture on there nice big flared nostrils like it's about to attack a t-rex and then you just all the knobs 
on the side of the frill are all nicely done and let's go around to the other side actually look at the eye the eye is done a little bit greenish color with a black people has a little bit of a gloss coat on there to give it that wet look and then the mouth is articulated i have to say probably the best articulation i've seen on a ceratopsian figure uh even better than beast of the mesozoic because it can close completely flush looks a lot better uh than uh papo's uh take on uh their ceratopsian mouth articulation have they ever actually done one maybe i'm just talking on my butt sorry i meant pnso with their triceratops i don't know why i said papo and inside the mouth let's see if we can zoom in and see you can, there's a tongue sculpted in there and i'm gonna try to shine a light you can see there are teeth actually sculpted in the mouth so a lot of nice detail tucked away in there that you can check out and then going down to the rest of the skull you do have the ear canal sculpted in right in the back over here a little bit of black glossy paint and then back of the frill is painted cp and so you can you know paint the back of the frill and it actually does look really really nice and then let's look at the front of the frill because a lot of nice details on the front of it you got some nice browns and grays all mixing in there and then going down to the body uh, you have all these osteoderms scattered throughout. It uh, does not follow the Lane uh, Triceratops skin impressions. Like I said, this is I don't think this is meant to be a scientifically accurate figure. You can tell going down to the front feet. Uh, these two toes right here should not have claws on them. But like I said, this is more of an awesome bro stylized Triceratops. Uh, that's meant to go with a diorama that came out seven years ago so i will forgive them for that i like i said i really like this figure uh the toe claws and the claws on the back of the feet are a little sharp for triceratops but like i said not a big deal i'm not displaying this as an accurate trike uh then going down to the rest of the body more beautiful scale detail nice pulsing uh muscle detail for those powerful thighs and calves and let's take a look at it from the top you got nice rows of all of those osteoderms going all the way down to the very tip of the tail and turn on the underside a nice light cream coat for the underside even the underside of the feet are all very very nicely detailed no dinosaur butthole very very disappointed come on the board dinosaurs need to poop and then going down to the very short tail that is also nicely done get some nice striping from the gray paint a little bit of striping on the thighs so yeah all around this is a really cool figure and i'm glad i can finally complete that diorama Moving on with comparisons, well, here it is, seven years in the making, the completed King Rex, Fallen Queen, and King Trident diorama. I have to say, you know, it has a nice, you know, kind of retro vibe, especially uh, with the King Rex. Uh, wow, I did not realize how small the Fallen Queen is uh, compared next to uh, the uh, King version. But yeah, it's finally nice to complete this diorama. I, honest to God, never thought I was ever going to say the King Trident. Every time I did a reball review, I always did like a little joke about how, you know, they never got the King Trident and then they were developing it. I still didn't believe it because sometimes reball takes, you know, a really long time to get a figure out. But this is definitely, I think, the longest they've ever taken to get uh, one out. And it was teased when it first came out. Let's uh, flip over the uh, Fallen Queen. When I got this in, is you know, uh, King Rex's Conquest, Sorrow's the Fallen Queen, Revenge uh, was going to be King Trident. And then it just never came out well it came out in 2015 i think these i think uh fallen queen actually came out around october of 2015 so it's pretty uh close to seven years on the mark since uh it was released and you can see the color scheme i have version one of the fallen queen is pretty close to the horn of doom version and uh i can i already know these are going for a ton of money if if they show up on ebay because they have not been in production for years and i know people now want to complete this diorama so this is gonna be a very very the fallen queen is gonna be a very very hot item going forward and next up here it is with kiss rebore stellar scientifically accurate t-rex and i have to say uh horner doom will absolutely f up uh kiss if this uh scenario actually happened in real life this is just such a huge beefy triceratops i i don't think this t-rex would stand a chance uh against this pissed off male but it's nice that you have options of how you want to display this diorama and let's compare it to a bunch of other Triceratops figures because we all know we have a ton of them in our collection. Companies love making Triceratops figures. Uh, first up, here it is with Beast of the Mesozoic's 135 scale or 118 scale uh, sub-adult Triceratops. And 
Next up, here it is with Safari Limited version. And keep going down the Triceratops row. Next up is Eofornis Triceratops. And who else do we have for Triceratops figures? Uh, well, I might as well do this one. Uh, here it is with the Hammond Collection one. And you know, Horner Doom does have mouth articulation. Eh, Mattel. And uh, one more. One more. Let's do one more Triceratops. Here it is with pnso's big hollow vinyl triceratops and i where's my pnso one i had it somewhere let me just slide across the room and get it and here is pnso's and we just open up the jaw i was talking about the jaw articulation uh yeah i i'm, I'm just not a fan of the cheek look uh the uh, cheekless look on a uh, ceratops it just makes it look really weird i don't care if it's accurate or not. i just love the cheek version and let's finish these comparisons off with a couple reboard comparisons. Here it is with their War Pig, their take on Ankylosaurus. And lastly, here it is. I just knocked the arm off it. So here it is with a one armed uh, Saurus of Agonex. So, final thoughts on Reboard's Triceratops. It's a cool figure. Yes, it's not accurate. But it's an awesome bro, you know, big beefed up Triceratops. And sometimes awesome bro is okay. I really like this figure. I think they did a good job on it. They've been absolutely fantastic with their sculpts and paint apps uh, for years now. Jaw articulation is great. I think it's one of the best uh, artic articulated jaws I've seen on a Ceratopsian figure. It looks great in the diorama, either with King Rex or uh, Kiss or Toss. So yeah, it's a cool figure. And it's a big Triceratops, man. It, it makes uh, the T-Rex figures uh, look small when you have uh, this uh, Horn of Doom uh, posed next to them. But yeah, really like this figure. It's, it's nice that there's two versions to match uh, both versions of the Fallen Queen. And I definitely recommend it. And like I said at the beginning of the review, this figure retails for $60. It'll be available soon from Big Bad Toy Store and Everything Dinosaur. Pre-order links are down below in the description. So that will do it for the review. Uh, right now, I'm out of new stuff uh, to review. Uh, so I'll probably just go back and start reviewing some uh, older stuff for the time being until you know, more figures get released. So that will do it. As always, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously and is greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.